Hello and welcome. We need to teach our application to know who is logged on. And we need also to teach the application to know what this logged on individual is allowed to do. The first question we could actually use a ready to go module from the modules market of Trongate. But we will write an own small basic log on functionality just to get hands on how this works. And for the question to, to get an idea what a logged on individual is allowed to do, we will use Trongate's token system. Every time a user logs in, we will create a row in the Trongate tokens table where a token lives for a specific time. And our application, every module, if it feels the need to, to assure uh, if a user is logged on and to assure that if a user is allowed to do something, it can ask this Trongate token system. How this works in detail, we will now learn of me together. See you. So maybe it's boring to follow somebody who is trying to code something. Let's make from here a real link to somewhere else when you use login on here. Let's convert this to a link and let's put this to house login login remote okay so let's put in the house controller a method and when we hear this the module stuff. Okay, and then load up the template. Is this a given data on here? Okay, well. Oh. So oh, need now this, this new file. Okay, and we can leverage from the course plan we have this centered thing on there. Okay, use this. Okay, ah, remove this thing. So and we have seen in the attendees thing, maybe. Okay, there is a form. I can take this. Let's remove everything we don't need. We will keep an email. Oh. Okay, and this country thing. Cancel you out? No. Okay. So, email address. Password. Login. Okay. So asks us to provide a form location. We know this, how to fix this. Okay. And we don't need to repopulate. So we can remove this empty things okay. 
Okay. Okay. Das ist gut. Okay. Uh, let's make this a little bit narrower. Formula is a German word for form. So Points a little bit like this. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, what would happen if you send this? Aha, okay. So here's our thing. Things on? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, some mail. My oh, okay. <laughs> okay. My password. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. Quick break. But you know what I'm thinking? Oops, maybe, maybe we should put an additional thing on here in. I was watching my movie, <clears throat> then I came along with the following thing. Let's, let's make on here a, a new user thing, just as a kind of, kind of small mockup on here. just to get data into our user table or authentication table actually <clears throat> and then we can use this one i think this works right well okay yeah boom okay 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 so and and on here we will we will change this here like Ah. So we can query upon this variable in here. something I know it's, it's not really but um, Oof, undefined constant, also, uh, because we have a load of it, right? No. Ah. Uh, it's fair, right? This error message is acceptable. Okay.
Mhm. Okay. Maybe it's too complicated, as usual. Login works. Ah, what was it? Not the user. No, uh, new user. New user. Okay. Okay. So we have here a, a, a small switch to log in or create a new one for our thing on here. Okay. So, and, and now we can is correct with my indentation thing okay no uh, let's add a new user first <clears throat> okay so do we need yeah we need or we need um validation in this stuff right email and password okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh. um, this validation helper said, oh, I have forgotten. Mm -hmm. And I have understood that this thing on here is reading directly from post. If we try to find the implementation we see on here. It looks posted values in the post thing directly. So this is the, the link. This is the link. <clears throat> so how how this function knows what we have sent on here so this this thing sees this, the posted values yeah. require email okay and so this is password we need to validate Okay. Oh, it, will, it will drive us crazy. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. Oh. And um, 
So. If it's not valid, the, the point false, right? Then we can do, we can unset post comp completely. And then you can. Just uh, I don't know how this black black are working. Okay, we need to something to set on here, and then it's. Okay, then you'll just set flash data. Okay. Um something on this data. Would this work? So and Large data. Just and this makes an echo. I just we just call flash data. Okay, we just call flash data. Flash data. Oh, something wrong with your enter data. Try again. Some email, blah 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 blah. New user, boom. Okay, okay. So this is seems to be fine. So if it's true, <coughs> then let's have a look. I have prepared a little bit on here on the right. So this is our our, our thing, and the attendees table. This is our table of our users. But um, but I added on here a little bit. This is the thing we wanna use for to, to connect to the Trongate token system, and we are writing on here in this authentication module, and this one actually would carry uh, the the login name and the password. And then there will be a foreign key to the attendees table where, where, where in detail data are stored of this user. Yeah. Um, uh, this is uh, because we, we had uh, the start, we, we said that we don't want to, to, to force the user to create an account. We, we want to give the use the chance to register by this one on here yeah there is a uh, and and a step in between needed we need to send the email and then offer the possibility to set a password and this we have uh, done or bypassed now here with this mock up new new user yeah yeah but but uh, we, we would send an email and then the user could uh, set a password to the given email address and then it would continue uh, at this point where we are now on on here but but as we see now uh, this this one here so here's this is login thing what we are doing and now we will add the user to this authentication table on here 
from get users ID or list and login name browser active as an activation code on here. So uh, where is ID? Where is my ID? I need to figure out how to put a nice icon there. So okay. So we don't have our house table yet, right? So let's let's create one tabel house. Yeah, this is our table. And we'll make an ID and say it's auto increment. It's a primary key. So this is our ID. Then we will add a field from gate users ID ID. And then we will add a login name. This is the email field, right? Uh, can you do this slammer? Yeah, you do this. And this we will make our character. I don't know this. You will give me feedback, I hope. So active. Oops, I yeah, this is the story. I'm not allowed to use the backspace on this here. Active. It's very small written, right? My character one default is no is no no okay no or yes okay so active yes no we could also use a uh, enum right enum yes no and same here okay 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 so and uh, an activation code. This is what we would send via the email, actually. It's allowing that now. This is fine. Yeah, and let's allow this one also as first, also to be now. Okay. And then there is this attendees ID yeah to get the link or even in it this is a little bit a bigger thing on here because we cannot relate cannot relate oh no, we will be able to 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 relate this is a mock-up also a little bit. While we are completing this, we have to to work on some points in parallel to, to get this set up, I think. Ah, Okay, so this is our table on here. Uh, login name, oh, let's sort it. Uh, 
password tron gig use id you move down so like this log in name passport if it's active on yes or no activation code for activating it using the email we will write somewhere someday add in this id the link to this table on here for the entry we will complete it and the trongate users id trongate users is on, on here and you'll see it's just it's just an id a code and a user level id Yeah, we have to think about how, how this will work out. How we set this up that it's filling these tables. We will we will have a we will have a look. Okay. Good morning. I have been watching the videos and we are heading to 30 minutes. So the idea is to to wrap this up, let's make um, a kind of um, Datus theme on here. Echo new user received the data so far. And then you will just echo out post and it will stop from here. And let's make the same thing on here for a login. Login user, we will do the same tests on here. And login user. And so far, we will collect this to the balance here. Fine. And now we will let's call this method on here at this position here. Yes. Okay, so let's quickly test if we use Snoopy. Boom, 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 boom. We will use our mockup new user. New user received data so far. Okay, uh, if we use Snoopy, boom, 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 boom. login, boom, then we have here login received data so far. Okay. So now we are at a position where we can connect our wannabe. But we have to finish, we have to compare passwords and this stuff, right? Okay. Um, um, now we are at a position to, to, to insert in the authorization modules table a uh, uh, username, a login, this is the email, this is a password, we can activate or not, activation code, and we can link it to, to an entry in our attendees table, yeah? because uh, the, the user has registered on here. So, yeah. And to get this completed first, we will start with this mock-up, just to say new user, and afterwards we see that it works, we will we will adopt this to to this thing here when somebody has registered and after this is taken and this table is filled we are at the same position as we are now on here yeah, or here actually okay so i will render and publish and i will go ahead with the second part thank you so far and i hope it was clear